All right, YouTube do-it-yourselfers. Um, my 1997 Ford truck 250 uh, diesel with a 7.3 liter eight-cylinder diesel. Um, this is an exhaust back pressure sensor. I think that's what it is. I'll put it in the description, the uh, exact term. Um, what I've noticed is that my truck um, was running really great. Uh, I have 250,000 miles on it and um, everything's great, but lately uh, the power has been really low and then I even notice black smoke coming out on acceleration up hills. So I did some other YouTube videos and discovered that this is probably one of the issues. So um, this is the sensor that sits up on top of the motor and I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, this actually is some little coupler that goes into the exhaust manifold and it hooks on down here, I believe. Um, so, yeah. So that goes in like that. And then this tube runs up to the top of the engine, which I'll show you in a minute, and then goes into the sensor. So basically like that and like that. So, um, and of course you can see that this is just, um, well, from this angle, it's, let's see if I can focus in on that. Um, Anyway, it's plugged up. Uh, there's no light coming through that, so no light coming through. And uh, even on this side, you can see it's all plugged up with uh, soot from the diesel. So uh, anyway, I'm going to clean that out, and I'm going to, on Amazon, they sell these little tubes for like 10 bucks, 15 bucks, and these little sensors for about 20, 22 bucks and uh, it'll be money well spent and my hope is that that brings back my power and of course stops that embarrassing black smoke coming out um, and also the lack of power you know I got cars behind me um, that are kind of upset upset um, and this is what I'm towing I have a big toy hauler um, if I'm not towing I haven't noticed any problems with the truck at all um, the incident I'm really talking about I was at 7,000 feet uh, going up a grade and um, yeah, that was not that was not fun. Kind of embarrassing to be big. My big shiny 250 diesel truck just not not going at all. So anyway, let me show you underneath the truck um, where this is. Um, okay, so there's the big diesel engine. Here's the alternator on the passenger side, and I'll show you this in a minute. But let me start down here. Um, uh, let's see, I gotta get underneath to show you. And I got this little wire here to show you, so you got an idea. Um, you see this little wire that runs all the way up into the exhaust manifold and it goes in. Where it goes in is clear. The wire is a, a way that I can see that it's not plugged up there. And uh, that's where the coupler goes in and then the pipe goes in there and it feeds up, and I hope I remember how to feed that, I'm sure it's not that hard. Um, anyway, uh, so that's okay, so I'm going to pull this little wire out, there's no reason for it to stay, I know it's clear, so, anyway, and anyway, let's see if it focuses there, it's kind of upset. These cell phones are so convenient, but also so temperamental. So, anyway, okay, and let me take you up above, and I'm going to show you where that is up there. So, alternator, passenger side of the car, right behind the alternator is where mine's located. Now, I've seen some videos where it's over here, underneath the air conditioner compressor. Um, so, it's like, it would be there. Uh, this is the oil reservoir for the um, high pressure pump for the diesel fuel. So I've seen it, it's down here on some videos or here, I, somewhere over here. But mine is behind the alternator. So this is the little plug that it goes in. The sensor screws in here. The little pipe comes up 
through there and it attaches back here to this little nipple right here. So, like I said, I hope this fix gives me my power back. Um, it's just running like a dog. I just weak, you know. And also my mileage has gone down. I've noticed that also. I used to get like 19 miles per gallon highway and I'd get like 13 miles per gallon towing. Uh, maybe even 16 miles per gallon towing. Um, so I'll put that all in the description to let you know if this, this fix does it. Uh, but no matter what, it's plugged up and that's not the way it's supposed to be. So I'm going to make the repair no matter what. So for two hours of my labor, maybe three hours of my labor, um, which diesel mechanics would probably run you, what, about $150, $200 an hour. Um, you know, I'm getting this done for under $50. So uh, I'm happy to... And also, you know, the best part is the sense of accomplishment. That's the part I really love. And, uh, you know, I'm glad I have the time to do it. Also, um, I took the shroud out for the fan just because I needed to see where the heck things were down there. Um, you really don't have to take the shroud out. Um, uh, I'll be putting that back in a minute. Um, but, um, yeah, I, I just took the shroud out because I wanted to see where that little pipe ran up to. Because I had, it was not easy to figure that part out. Alright guys, uh, thank you.